Good morning. Well, I was coming to get coffee, but there's no coffee in the thing. So I have to do it myself. But I got this cool cup. Look at this. It says New Life Church on it. It's supposed to be for first time guests, but I got one. How many scoops do I add? One. Three? One. More like 1.5. We like it a little strong. Look at how much coffee we use. And there's a second one. I think I just broke it. Note to self, don't touch things. I don't actually know how to work this coffee maker. There's no like start button. Hey, do I just flip this switch? I mean, it just started going. I didn't ask it to. Coffee's done. Do I need this much coffee? Absolutely not. Am I going to drink all of it? Absolutely. <laughs> all right, <laughs> story time about the cup. So, because you guys wanna know. Yes. And I want to share it with you. I found this cup yeah. on the ground. On the ground? On the ground. So these cups were given out on Easter Sunday as a first time gift to people in this like wrapping and everything. And after Easter Sunday, uh, because I live here, I uh, was walking around back to my office and there was one on the ground outside with nobody there, just by its lonesome. So what did I do? I took it in, gave it a good home, bathed it and said, you're gonna be my cup now. And so this now is your so cup. Are, now everybody's jealous. Now you're everybody's ready. jealous. So I have a first time guest cup, but no one else does. Oh, That's the story that. time with the cup. That's all. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> I need a first time guest packet <laughs> for my first time guest. I never got mine when I came. So. <laughs> That's what all the kids say <laughs> when I started. Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> Back to the office. Time to work. So most of the lighting is tungsten lighting because what? In the video during the time lapse. Oh, it's so funny. Funny. <laughs> What if the entire top of the welcome center was a screen with a projector with a wide angle lens? Or a couple projectors and stitch them together. Because, like, if we could make it to where that welcome center had a projector on it, and then you you walked in and saw... It'd be environmental projection. Mm-hmm. But what if... What if we just did environmental <laughs> projection? I was going to say, what if we went ahead... Okay, so we have an idea. This is a little too close. Scott, I, idea. In the family room, we have walls all the way around, and... There's nothing there. Like, there's maybe one or two hanging things, and but there, it's dark corners. And me, as the, a photographer here on campus, I hate it because you can't shoot in the dark and get great pictures. But nonetheless, we're having a fall conference. And how cool would it be if we had projectors on the walls, or no, in the ceilings. In the ceilings, shooting, on shooting the onto the walls. Of pictures and graphics and videos of everything happening here at New Life. So when you walked in the doors and you looked around, you literally saw life at New Life and you instantly felt welcomed. Mm -hmm. Now those are the light gray colored walls, right? They're not dark gray? No, those are the light gray. So it wouldn't even distort the color very much. No. So if you have an idea on what should go on the wall, leave a comment below. Um, what we're thinking is baptisms, 
pictures of kids playing around yeah, videos of kids playing around stuff mm -hmm. like that like stuff happening on the campus of uh, the the golf cart people driving in people from the parking lot the food ministry that happens on uh, every the other drone Wednesday. flying in yep yeah so if you have an idea of like content that we can put on the walls environmentally that you personally think would be cool leave a comment because i i really want to do this what if what if like periodically it's it's uh pictures of people at church yeah with a hashtag so you send you you take your picture hashtag it and then we event we, we choose some and put them up there yeah every week we would choose the ones from last week i would say let's put money into doing that then putting it into the glass box because if we could do no check this out if we could do the ability to have them all separate but all the same at the exact same time like choose yeah do a camera and do the mirror effect and do the mirror effect in the entire room no no no. you put a camera project you put a camera aimed at where it's projecting onto then when you put a live shot of them it does the mirror effect all yes the so the theme of this conference is is multiply and we just got wicked cool ideas Darn, I really love the I really love the mirror box though. <laughs> I, I as soon as I saw it at Coachella, I go, you know what? That the church be, needs it. And that would be perfect. What a funny statement. If Coachella has it, the church needs it. Can I use this, Mark? Um, she didn't say yes. Imagine you walking up, and this is a person, like this is a person, and you're standing right here, but this is a mirror. Like right here's a mirror, and right here's a mirror. So when you walked up, you saw yourself multiplied. And no, if you had your whole around. team... Is it the other way around? It's inside. So the oh. mirrors facing each other. This was my idea. Scott, share the actual execution. I, I come with the idea, and then Scott just makes it ten times better, just so you know how my brain works and how cool things happen. Right now, we have all staff meeting. Um, yeah, should be fun. Dr. Daniel Brown's with us today, and uh, we'll be good. He's teaching the staff, and then tonight we have team night. It's going to be a long day. Full of Daniel Brown. Hi! Hi! Here's Scott, being a brown noser with the guest speaker. <laughs> How much you want to bet? There's an empty seat right here. Sea Ranger will not sit next to me. Let's, let's see what she does. That's my mother. Can we sit here? There's also an empty seat right next to Mark on the side. She won't take that. Where are you going? Don't hurt her. Don't you I was looking for my husband. Can I sit aside to you? Break, I have to. Ooh! I said it! What? I said it, I said it, I said it. What, Brad? Right there. Your plate looks colorful. She That's saw it good. and goes, nope. I won. It was I won. The color. <laughs> what? So you guys, this is our last staff meeting for this season. But don't you covet being that kind of a woman, that kind of a man? I mean, it's so boring. I'm just, I'm a good Christian. I know what to believe, I know what not to do, even though I sometimes do it, but I'm a good Christian. <laughs> Whatever. I mean, if that's the sum total of what you get to do, then why not just walk in front of a Mack truck and go straight to heaven because it'll be much better there than it is here. Yes. I want to make a difference. So Dr. Daniel Brown was real good during the staff meeting today. So for team night, they're getting ready for team night leadership dinner. Boom. We're having Tahoe Joe's. The best. We got salad, veggies, some rolls, chicken. Steak. And steak. Inshallah. Dessert. Ooh. Team night. All the campuses are coming together for worship. All campuses here tonight. So they're having rehearsal right now. And John. good.
worship is gonna be real nice, Clark. Really nice. Huh? They went to Spanish, one church, five, six locations. We're a lot of locations, but two languages. Two languages. That's so sick. I don't care who you are. That's pretty cool. Having one church, but with multiple locations and a bunch of different languages. I say a bunch of different languages. We have two languages, not a bunch. But two languages is pretty sick. Because you get Spanish and English. Spanish and English. Pastor Joe. We have more water. How cool is it that we are singing tonight in two languages? Super sweet. I, I think I'm really obsessed with this. I can't get over it. <laughs> Team night's my favorite night. Everybody comes together. So much happening, it's awesome. Dinner done, and now it's time for the actual team night. Right? All right. Show some friends here. Wow, it's a bunny at church. 